Howdy, howdy, everybody out there in YouTube land. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Yes, beautiful. So this is, uh, well, it's a little bit over mid-month, but we're going to be talking about some analytics again today. So we're going to be doing the end of the month, beginning of the month, large scope of the overview. But here what we're going to talk about is we're going to break down something, and this is over the lifetime of my channel. This is the views, okay? Now, as you can see... We've got some substantial views, half a million there, 250, 240, and so on and so forth. These are just my top five videos, and they've made me, they've generated some, some profit here. The interesting thing that I wanted to point out was that this one, Sonic, was just from this year. That, I mean, I, I got like 230 or 220,000 views in August well, July and August, and part of September, but mostly in August. So all of those views, I mean, I only had maybe 20000 on that. It just blew up. It just happens, and I got $200 in uh, September from it. So it's so that's a, a decent payout, and that's just from one. Now imagine, you know, this one here. Uh, this is still my best by far. is <laughs> dinosaurs, you know, Ice Age. Fantastic, right? Half a million... We're talking almost $500, $400 of revenue just from that alone. Uh, this is this is where my money was at. This is where I used to be, and if I had continued doing this, I'd probably, probably you know, I probably would have continued to grow. But I was I was piggybacking, is what I'd call it. I had a mentor, and I was in the stage of basically doing a, a mimicry, a copy of his channel, but still trying to sprinkle in my own personal thing. But for the most part, it was, he, he taught me, so I did what he did. And it was substantial. It, you, it, you, you can't argue with the numbers. This, this is what I was getting. But mind you, this is half a million. I had most of that when I uploaded it. And it really, uh, maybe not mm -hmm. most of it, I would say uh, I've still been getting, you know, thousand views a month from it. So over the course of whenever it was uploaded, you're still talking half a million when I uploaded it. So it was substantial. Uh, this is this is probably right now one of my videos that every month gets me views. So I'm not even making money right now on my magic content. I'm still making money over a dollar a day from these videos. And not even all of these videos. Maybe five of them tops are, are contributing. So I have over 600 videos on the channel. I'm not even at 10,000 subscribers. And I'm just barely over a dollar a day. Mind you, I have struggled with consistency. And that is probably one of my biggest regrets. One was... Because back when I was uploading, I was uploading often. I'm, I'm more consistent now than I was then, but I was uploading content regularly. So at least I was still being consistent, but I'd be uploading like five, ten at a time, things like that. And then I'd go a couple weeks, and then I'd do some more. And I was getting the numbers, so that's that. But if I was as grounded as I am now and doing this, I probably would have been far more substantial than what I'm at now. But the point is, I don't... I didn't really want to do that content. I don't mind it. I like the toys for the most part. It's fun. So that wasn't the problem. The problem is is that there was, well, the, the mentor, um, the friendship kind of deteriorated. Um, and so I lost contact with the channel itself. I still had access to it, but I wasn't engaged with it because it was a part of the friendship. So after, I think, about a two-year hiatus, I tried to come back in 2020. And I had gotten, at one point, I think it was 2015, uh, let's see, 2015 or 2016, I had gotten $200 in December. Actually, I got it paid out in January, but I got it in December. And that was my biggest month to date until this past August. That was That exceeded that. And the difference was is that I had to upload almost 100 videos in one month in order to get that at the end of the year. And the reason why we're talking about that now is because we're heading into the fourth quarter where you see a substantial growth, hopefully. 
that's what I'm hoping for as we go to the end of the year. But with the Sonic video, it just felt like I didn't even know what was going on, really. I was up to $24 a day for, like, two weeks, and I was like, I, don't, I, I, I felt so good. I was like, I wish this could be all the time. And the fact is that that's probably just not going to be the case. So it's dwindled back down, and now I'm just like, I'm seeing the dollar a day, and I'm... When I, when I stopped doing it in 20, about 2017 is when I stopped, because uh, then I went to 2018, 2019, and then I started again in 2020. Uh, when I stopped, it was, uh, I was getting like $6 a day, and then I went back down a little bit to like maybe 3 or 4 which was okay, but I was still getting a check maybe every two months. Now I'm at like every three months because I'm only getting around a dollar a day. So my hope is, is that I'll be able to rebuild that and get back to that point, but with magic. And that's really the the driving force there. And so I'm trying to be consistent, trying to build the platform, and trying to maintain the brand. And that's the hardest part. So we'll talk about, so there was that big two-year hiatus. And then after I started in 2020, it was like February or March. I did maybe a couple of videos, but I hadn't really gone into the the magic yet so i was starting to i was already doing magic but i wasn't as i wasn't sure how i wanted to proceed with it so i did like some cube chat stuff i still did one toy review and it did okay and then after that i was like you know what i don't know i, I just basically paused it again until the end of the year in 2020 and that's when let's go up here and see if we can find 2020 so I had so much inspiration to choose from. Let's see here. Let's go 2020. We want to go the full year. So that's going to be 12. No, nope, that's not what we want. We want to go here. Good. Okay, and for this one, we want what? Got it. Okay, so for 2020, mind you, I wasn't doing. Oops, entered invalid. Oh, it needs to be 2020. Perfect. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. So for the year of 2020, mind you, this was coming off from the hiatus. Um, not really giving me the, uh, maybe the dates would be better. I'm not sure exactly how I want to go about seeing where I was at at the time. And seeing what has changed since then. So, okay, here we go. So basically we're starting off at a thousand, you know, just under a thousand views there. I did some videos, so it, it peaked a little bit, and then it kind of just did the thing, and then it just nosedived. But I started doing videos again uh, around this time, and then it kind of started to pick up a little bit. But it was still roughly about the same. But let's take a look at what the content was that year to see if Magic was doing anything at the time. I mean, if I can get to the point where my tour review stuff is producing and then I can get to the point where my magic stuff is producing at least a thousand then I'll be some seeing some gains here but at this point I mean look at that 15,000 it wasn't even you know we're, we're still uh, Dawn of the Dinosaurs is down here at seven and that's now twice that for the year and so that's coming to its own Tarzan's still on there so things have changed year over year and that's in 2020 so Going from 2020, having Scooby-Doo at the top, going to 2021, and now Ice Age is, look at that, 17,000. And this is after me starting doing videos again. And I was 2021 was a substantial year for me. Tarzan, those two stayed up there. Um, DreamWorks, that may have been in the other one. Kung Fu Panda, nope, that's Burger King, uh, Nickelodeon, 
SpongeBob, uh, and then Burger King The Simpsons. So we had some other runners up there, but we had some substantial change there. But let's go ahead and look at 2022 for this year so far to see how we're doing for our, our top uh, top views. There's Sonic. So that one really can't... And remember, it was only like 240,000 in the overview for a lifetime. So it was only a little under 20,000. And this happened. So imagine if Tarzan, which... Uh, look at that. I mean, that's 6,000 again. That's back down to there. That's at 14. Tarzan is still rocking pretty solid. So imagine if all of these went up to this at the same time. I mean, that's, what I, that's my dream, but... You know, anytime you know something, you know, a new movie comes out or something catches with the algorithm, it could do this, and that could happen, and and that's kind of part of the like the excitement of doing this. It's like I didn't do anything with Sonic. I never even touched it. I didn't even know what was happening for a couple of days, and then I was looking at my revenue, like, why am I? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? What's happening? And it just made me made my heart flutter a little bit. But that right there was a substantial amount. If all of my view videos was doing that, I mean, that would be a game changer. But none of my magic videos are anywhere near this level at all. And that's kind of sad for me because I do want to produce magic content that is being seen by my subscribers and by YouTube in general. And... Ultimately, yes, you know, I say that it is about the, where am I at here? It's this one. Uh, let's see, this one? I'm not sure which one I'm on. There you are. Uh, so ultimately, it is about having some relative, you know, some money, some revenue. But ultimately, I, I don't, it doesn't bother me that I don't have it that much. The only thing that, it, I mean, really, honestly, if I had more money, I'd just be spending more money on, on magic stuff to show the, on the channel. So it's just fun. That's really all it is. It's just fun. And this channel I've had since 2014, and I've been since October of 2014. Here we are in October. So, I mean, we're talking about a anniversary of sorts. And so this is a very beautiful thing, and I'm sad that I've missed years that I didn't get to upload videos because it's fun and it's fun to interact with people and between 2020 and 2021 I was everywhere I tried to be anyway by the end of by the end of 2020 I tried to be everywhere try to communicate with as many people and build as much networking as I could there was a couple people in 2021 that I lost some friends on here viewers and stuff that I was I felt very close to I spoke with them probably every every day or every other day and it's just, it's sad that I don't interact with them anymore, especially since it was so impactful to the channel. And I really do appreciate what they did. And then we go into 2022. I had so many things happen between 2021 and 2022 that, good and bad, like, you know, just life's ups and downs. And so it really became difficult to to stay consistent. And so I didn't have a two-year hiatus, but I did have... A month here a month there where I just kind of fell and wasn't really sure how to get back up and then I upload these shorts these last couple of weeks and I am renewed I love I love what I'm seeing when I look at myself on, <laughs> on the computer you know I love I love the fact that I'm seeing such positive not only from the viewers, but also when I watch the videos, I enjoy what I'm seeing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I enjoy seeing the progress that that I have all this, you know, like basically talking to all these people and communicating and getting these ideas and bringing it together on the channel. And I just feel good about the fact that when I upload a video, some of my videos are, well... A lot of my videos are not so good, but the fact that I upload a video and I watch it and I'm like, this is this kind of stuff that I would watch on somebody else's channel. And the fact that it's only a couple of videos so far that it really have got to that point for me, I need to do more. I need to do better. 
I need to get better and create better content because I love seeing videos that I upload that is almost as good as other people. I won't say better because I don't it depends on what you're into and what you like and what you're watching that day. I just say that once you get to a certain point and you upload a video and people are watching it and then you watch it and you're you're happy, you're proud of the quality that you've just put into that and that it works. And that is fantastic. I mean, just even could get five views, but the fact that the fact that I upload something and it's good that's that's so so good because so great so positive for me because it took me a couple of years to get there and then I'm taking all these things that I've learned and just putting them together so really it's it's absolutely amazing I mean the point of this this video is to talk about the audience and the viewers and the subscribers and to talk about what has happened over the course of this journey and so much stuff has happened and so many ups and downs on the channel and in life, but on the channel, like, I don't even have, I still have no idea how any of it works. I just, I try to do the best I possibly can with a video that I, that I like. These are long form. I mean, this, this is, this is me talking to you directly, like you right there, you know, if you needed help building a channel or if you needed help with magic and you needed, you wanted to talk or if you want to do you know if you needed a resource and I can give that resource to you that's that's what I want to be here for the community is just another member of the community that can help just another pillar that can hold it up you know that's that's it and if I get paid to do it fantastic I mean I don't again I don't know I'm not really even sure you know they said do shorts so I do shorts they say put hashtags so I put hashtags I I just work here. I just you know don't you know I just I don't know. I just I just think it's it's fun. That's really the best part about it is that I absolutely enjoy doing this. And I do it so much without even getting anything in return. And that is the that is the thing that tells me that this is it. This is the thing because I spend so much time doing it, but I don't get revenue from it. And that tells me that this is what I should be doing, and this is what I should be dedicating my time to. Like, I'll tell you a quick little story, and then we'll wrap this up. Since I was a kid, teenage, maybe a little bit before that, I wanted to be a blacksmith. Absolutely wanted to be a blacksmith. I didn't purchase the stuff and actually start blacksmithing until I was almost 30, so just a couple of years ago. Basically, when I started doing magic, when I started actually having enough income to buy the stuff that I wanted to do with my hobbies, I wanted to be a blacksmith. That's all I wanted to be. I did the research. I read the books. I figured out like how I could do this, build a business, all this stuff, and it's hard work. It really is. I mean, you're <laughs> swinging a hammer, but the first time I ever did it, I, I knew that that was, the th that was it. That was the thing. That was who I was. And every time that I actually get a chance to get out there at the forge, this is my second love. I know that. And I love this. And that's what I'm saying. I love this so much that I dedicate hours and hours and hours of my time to doing it, to communicate with you. And not just doing videos. We're talking about going out onto YouTube and meeting people and just chatting with them and helping them and being a part of the community. And I love blacksmithing even more than that to the point where when I'm doing it, I, it's euphoria to me. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling to get what you to be able to do what you love doing without having the hassle of worrying about the restrictions. And that's absolute best part of that. So with that in mind, I just want you to remember. And always remember, stay positive, stay active, and stay awesome. And we will see you in many, many, many more videos. Thank you.